kind of thing. That was Paul Adams reporting there from Kiev. Well, Lieutenant Colonel Pavlo Kazan is a commander in the Ukrainian Armed Forces Drone Reconnaissance Team. He joins us from eastern Ukraine. Thank you very much, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, for joining us here on the program. Just tell us a, a little bit more about these um, Iranian-made uh, so-called kamikaze drones. What do you know about them? Uh, first, I, I can say that we are here on the front line. It's increasing in activity a number of Russian uh, regular drones on the front line. So it's also a bit a correlation between the increasing of this reconnaissance drone and the Shahid 136 on a uh, civilian, which, which targets uh, civilian objects. And uh, we know specification, we know characteristics of this Shahid 136. And they, we know that most effective option for destroying this uh, strike UAV is uh, anti-aircraft AA complexes like Stinger, Mistral, Grom, or uh, Ukrainian complexes like Strela-10 or PZRK or Shilka or bigger complexes like Buk or C-300. And uh, the bigger problem that uh, here we are on the front line, we wear it with helmets and uh, uh, bulletproof uh, vests and so on, we are prepared because we are now here on the first line working with artillery, with uh, uh, artillery fire correction. We know what is it, but the problem is that we have this terrible news from uh, from uh, peaceful territories, from well, well, Kiev, no, uh, Dipro, uh, Odessa. Yeah, I, I mean, not just peaceful territories, but, but residential areas in, in, in the capital uh, as well. I mean, you yes. say, well, you, say you, you know the equipment needed to take these drones out, but, but it, it must be incredibly worrying for the residents of uh, some of these areas because they don't have these tools and they wouldn't know how to use this equipment. I mean, they're very noisy, aren't they? When, when, you know, people know that they're coming. Yes, but they, uh, we have this uh, AA complexes also around the, uh, our cities, uh, but it is not enough. And according to uh, information from uh, our Air Force command, it is about 80% of uh, drones kamikaze was destroyed by uh, our AA complexes. Uh, at the same time, we need many more and we do believe that we will work uh, together in a close collaboration with our NATO partners to increase the number of these complexes, of Stinger, Mistral, and other complexes. At the same time, we need to more investigate of uh, this problem of drone kamikaze to organize some attaches, some additional indicators, like sound indicators or visual indicators to identify these drones kamikaze. Yeah, and, and, and going forward, are you concerned that this is going to be one of the main methods used in this conflict? Uh, yes, indeed, because I can say that the effective distribution uh, uh, of uh, destruction of our artillery, of enemy ammunition warehouses and their artillery, and uh, the problem uh, with uh, Russian uh, gun barrels and uh, also complication to use manned aircraft can lead to significant increase in the activity of these uh, Iranian-made strike drones. That is why we should be well prepared because they are switching from artillery, from missiles to drone kamikazes. Do, do you feel you are well prepared? Uh, you, you see, as, as I said, we need many more complexes. We are prepared on the front line, but we need many more complexes for uh, our peaceful territories, for our cities. Lieutenant Colonel, thank you very much for taking the time to join us here on the program from Eastern Ukraine. Thank you very much indeed.